Good day, brethren. We are starting a series of Shade of Blessings. Shade of Blessings. Today, we are going to talk about everlasting and enduring blessing. We are going to use the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 18 to 29. He reads, so he went to his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done just as you told me. Please arise. Sit and eat of my game, that your soul may bless me. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you found it so quickly, my son? And he said, because the Lord your God brought it to me. Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near that I may feel you, my son, whether you're really my son Esau or not. So Jacob went near to Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he did not recognize him because his hands were airy like his brother Esau's hand. So he blessed him. Then he said, are you really my son Esau? He said, I am. He said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's game, so that my soul may bless you. So he brought it near to him, and he ate, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and he kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his clothing, and blessed him, and said, Surely the smell is of my son, is like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore may the Lord give you of the dews of heaven, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grains and wine. Let the people serve you, and nation bow down to you. Be masters over your brethren, and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be those who bless you. This passage let me step back a little bit isaac had two children esau and jacob isaac loved esau because esau is the first son and the tradition of the jews is that the firstborn nearly owned everything but isaac wife rebecca loved jacob so in this context, now Isaac was about to die and asked Esau to prepare him a meal so that I can bless him. Jacob's mother had it and told Jacob to go and prepare the meal. And this passage that we read, Genesis chapter 27, verse 18 to 29, was the context where there was a dialogue between Isaac and Jacob. But at the end, Isaac blessed Jacob and blessed him. And he said, Surely the smell of my son is like a smell of the field which God has blessed. Therefore, may God give you the dew of heaven, of the fatness of the heart, and bless your grain and your wine. Let people sap you. And the nation will bow down to you. Be the master over your brethren. And let your mother's son bow down to you. Cause be anyone who caused you. And blessed is anyone who blessed you. This is an everlasting blessing. This is an enduring blessing. Jacob took that blessing and he left. What is blessing? Blessing is a favor from God that makes God comfortable. I don't want us to be confused about blessing and riches. Blessing is bigger than riches. It's bigger than the wealth. Blessing is when everything you touch prospers. Book of Psalm 1 from verse 1, I'm summarizing because there is no wickedness in us and that we are not in company of sinners. 
We are like a tree planted by pass of water that bring fruit in due season, and everything we touch prosper. That is blessing. Our blessing cannot be quantified by our bank account. Our blessing could not be quantified about how many houses or how many cars that we have. You see, blessing is bigger than that. You see, blessing of God is one that makes one rich without a sorrow to it. Many people that have riches and wealth, they are not happy. That is not blessing. Blessing is when you are comfortable, when all your need is met, and when you have peace of God. And blessing of God ride it over you. That is blessing. Father Abrahamic blessing upon Jacob. It transfer the blessing that Abraham poured upon Isaac. Isaac transfer it to Jacob. It's everlasting blessing. And we know that Jacob, his name will later change to Israel. And wherever you mention Israel today, it's a blessed nation. That is a covenant prayer of Isaac upon Jacob. But if fast forward after Esau came back from hunting and prepared delicious meal for Isaac. When he got to Isaac, Isaac said, I've already eaten and I've gave the blessing to Jacob. Esau cried. You can see that in the book of Genesis chapter 27 from verse 34 to 40. I'm not going to read it. I'm just summarizing it. He cried. He asked his father, please bless me. Bless me. The father said, I've given the blessing to Jacob. He said, bless me. And he said to him. And he so said to his father, have you have only one blessing? My father, bless me also. Oh, my father. And Esau lifted his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the heart and of the dew of heaven from above. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass, when you become restless, that you will break this yoke from your neck. What type of blessing? That is not enduring blessing. That is a temporary blessing. It said, by your sword you shall live. That is, you will just labor, labor. You only labor to eat. And he said he will serve his brothers. What type of blessing is that? So you can see a different type of blessing. The blessing on Jacob and the blessing on Israel. Book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 20, verse 35 says, I've shown you in every way by laboring like this that you may support the weak and remember the word of the Lord that said it is blessing to give than to receive. It is blessing to give and to receive. You see the type of blessing that Isaac poured upon Jacob and the type that he poured upon Israel. Blessing come from the Lord, but two we have role to play in that blessing. What are the characteristics of a blessed person? First of all, when I'm talking about blessing, you need to have the foundation. You must be born again. Then when you are born again, you must make sure you are holy and righteous. Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 5, from 5, 5 to 10, what are the characteristics of the blessed person? Blessed are the meek that she inherited the hearts. Blessed are those who are hunger and thirst for righteousness. They shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. They shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. 
Blessed are the peacemaker. They shall be called the sons and daughters of God. Blessed are those who persecuted for righteousness' sake, for they are as the kingdom of heaven. That is how Jesus Christ characterized a blessed person. A blessed person must be meek, gentle, and humble. A blessed person must be tasked for righteousness. A blessed person must be filled by Holy Spirit and mercy. Be merciful. When you are merciful, you forgive others. When you are merciful, you don't hold other hostage. Blessed are those people who are pure in hearts. That you have clean hearts. That you serve for righteousness and holiness. Blessed are those people that are peacemaker. Many of us, are we a peacemaker? We cause trouble in our family. We cause trouble in the church. We cause trouble in the society. But Jesus Christ is saying in this passage, blessed are the peacemaker. We must be a peacemaker. We must reconcile others. As Jesus Christ reconciles us to God, if we want to have everlasting blessing and enduring blessing. Say, blessed are those who are persecuted because of your righteousness. And that is why many people at this day, they don't want to be persecuted. They want to be the good book of everybody. And that's why they compromise. This passage is telling us, blessed are those people that thirst for righteousness, that are persecuted because of their righteousness and holiness. They call you names. They call us names. But if you are doing the right thing, you are blessed. Because you say, for they are the kingdom of heaven. Blessed person is not about riches. It's not about how many houses you have. It's about the peace of God. It's about joy of the Lord. It's about contentment of everything we have. Those are the enduring and everlasting blessings. Many shades of blessing. The book of Genesis chapter 49. Jacob was praying for the two sons of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim. And he crossed his hand. He put the right hand on Ephraim. And he put the left hand on Manasseh. And Joseph said, my father, my father, that is the senior one. Jacob said, I know, because he will serve his brother. At this Manasseh, we serve Ephraim, who is the junior one. He blessed Ephraim more than Manasseh. He gave Ephraim everlasting blessing, but he gave Manasseh temporary blessing. Same thing in the book of Genesis chapter 49. Jacob called all his 12 children and blessed them. I will not be able to go through them, but I just want to give you one or two examples of a limited blessing and enduring and everlasting blessing. When Jacob was praying for Reuben, he said, Reuben, you are my firstborn, the mighty and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and excellency of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel. What type of blessing is that? Limited blessing. Said is unstable like water, and you will not excel. See, that was a very, very limited blessing. Now let's look at the book of Judah. Jacob blessed three of his children with enduring and everlasting blessing. Judah, Joseph, and Benjamin. But let's look at Judah. Genesis chapter 49, from verse 8 to 12. Judah, you are whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemy. Your father's children 
shall bow down before you. You see, your father, children will bow. You can say Judah. Anywhere you hear Judah today, they are still standing. Same thing with the blessing of Joseph too. He blessed Joshua in a way that is everlasting. Finally, I want to pray the blessing of the Lord upon us. The blessing of the Lord upon our people. The blessing of God. You see it in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 7 and 8. Balaam and Balak, the prophet that said he wanted to cause the people of Jewish state because the king, Balak, has bribed him. But he could not because Whoever God has blessed, nobody can cause. So I pray for you today that enduring and everlasting blessing will be upon you. Will be upon your children. Will be upon your household. Whoever wants to cause you, I reverse it back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, no man born of a woman will be able to cause you. Cause your family. The blessing of God is upon you. So I pray for you today. Use the book of Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 to 27. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, This is the way I'm blessing the people of God today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Your peace all around. You see, those are the blessing. Joy all around. Those are the blessing. Grace all around. Those are the blessing. Fulfillment all around, those are the blessing. Joy all around, those are the blessing. Book of Number chapter 6, verse 27. And God said to Aaron, Say, put the name of God upon the people of Israel. Say, I will bless them. Today, I put the name of God upon your life. Your going now is blessed. Your coming in the bless. Everything you touch, you is successful. You will be fruitful like a palm tree. Book of Psalm 92, verse 12. Say you will be fruitful like a palm tree. You will be established like a cedar in Lebanon. Everywhere you go, you will be established and prosper. I put the name of God upon you, upon your family, upon your children. You are blessed. Everywhere your generation is blessed. Everywhere they mention your name, your name is blessed. It is well with you. It is well with all of us. We are blessed all around. Thank you, Jesus. Everlasting and enduring blessing upon us, upon our children, upon our generation yet unborn. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.